My name is Patrick Keo. I will be your instructor on this journey through art. I'm going to start off the class with number one, I want you to really familiarize yourself with all aspects of the class Blackboard. Check out the course information, art lectures, art links, and of course the assignments and the discussion board. We're going to start off by talking about and trying to define and understand and explore what exactly is art. From there, we're going to look at some guidelines, some parameters, and we're going to discuss the visual elements of design because the visual elements of design are essentially the building blocks of every aspect of art from the earliest cave paintings all the way to modern art. From that point, after we understand and have some uh, background information on those elements of design, the organizing principles, and what we call the historical context or the historical perspective. From that point, we're going to march through history and I'm going to guide you through every stylistic period all the way to modern art. We're going to go from the cave paintings. We're going to learn why, and that's a key word, why. What is the why behind art? What is the why behind prehistoric art? What is the why behind Egyptian art? So we want to explore all aspects of those historical perspectives. Because every style, every period has a set of historical, cultural, social, religious types of contents or parameters or catalysts that cause the artists of that period, the art makers, to filter what is going on in the culture, in the society, and reflect it back in a, uh, in a variety of art forms. So we start off with the cave paintings, and the cave paintings were all about survival, all about trying to understand and make sense out of a very dangerous, harsh environment, and to possibly capture the spirit of the beast through the art. And we will march through history to Egyptian, to Hellenic, Greek, Hellenistic, Roman, early Christian, Gothic, Renaissance, all the way through to modern art. But you can't understand art unless you understand the visual vocabulary. I'm very excited about being your guide on this journey through art. To be successful in my class, you've got to be very active and participate in our weekly discussions. The discussion forum is where the action is. That's where our classroom is. I am looking for you to engage me and each other in weekly discussions about the various topics of art through history. If you are showing me that you are participating, you are making an effort, you are doing the reading, and you are excited and enthusiastic about this course, which I'm going to do my best to make you that way. I'm going to do my best to uh, be a catalyst for our weekly discussions. If you're showing me that you're making an effort in my class, you will succeed. It's that simple. Don't throw the lectures back at me. Do your own research. Don't plagiarize. Put the content in your own words. Read the chapters, read my lectures, and then come on to the discussion board and engage me and each other in a, uh, in a discussion about that topic. So, I'm looking forward to teaching you this class. It's not a difficult class. Don't make it more difficult than it has to be. Each week you have an essay, a weekly essay. You've got a week to do it. Each week we have a discussion topic. You discuss it all week. Don't wait until the last minute to throw in your discussion uh, topic to the, to the discussion board. So, at the midpoint, there'll be a midterm uh, essay, and then at the end, we will have a comprehensive final exam. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me via email. Good luck. 
I want you to succeed in this class.